Introduction to the Holmium Laser. This video is intended to provide an overview of the main safety features of a Holmium laser and how it works. Key components of a Holmium laser. The main power circuit breaker is placed in the on position at the beginning of setup. It is placed in the off position after the last use of the day. The red emergency shutoff switch is pressed to immediately shut down the laser in an emergency. The laser unit requires a key to turn it on. After each case, the key switch is turned to the off position and removed to prevent unauthorized use. The monitor is touchscreen and displays treatment values. The port connects the laser fiber to the laser unit. The blast shield protects the internal optical components from damage by a faulty or misused delivery device. The blast shield cover is only opened if a malfunction occurs. The inspection label indicates the date of the last preventative maintenance of the laser unit. The foot pedal is covered to prevent accidental activation of the laser. Inspect the foot pedal cord. A frayed or split cord is an electrical hazard. The laser power cord has a locking plug and socket and is inserted into a 220 volt outlet. Ensure the cord is firmly seated into the outlet. Inspect the integrity of the cord for fraying and splitting. How a Holmium Laser Works The following is meant as a big picture overview of how the laser is operated and how it works during a surgical procedure. The key is inserted into the key switch and rotated to the start position. This turns the laser unit on. After a laser self-test and warm-up, the default setting is standby mode. Except during actual treatment, the laser must always be in standby mode. In standby mode, the foot switch is disabled, preventing accidental laser exposure if the foot switch is inadvertently depressed and the safety shutter is closed. No laser beam is available. The laser nurse operator removes the safety cap from the laser port. The surgeon passes the laser connector end of the fiber to the laser nurse operator, who removes the protective cover. The laser fiber is connected to the laser port. The aiming beam is observed, and the laser fiber is inspected for breaks. Warning. If the laser unit is on, the laser can be fired even if there is no fiber inserted into the port. Once the scope has been positioned by the surgeon, the fiber tip is inserted through the working channel of the scope. Treatment values are set from the laser control screen according to the surgeon's verbal direction. Always verify that the desired treatment values are displayed on the control screen before initiating treatment. All lasers are focused energy. Alignment happens inside the unit. The photons are reorganized into parallel lines, producing the focused beam. This focused beam is delivered to the target by the laser fiber. When activated, the Holmium laser emits a light beam at a wavelength of 2100 nanometers. The laser aiming beam is visible. The laser working beam is invisible. Stones are typically amber colored. The fiber is placed in contact with the stone surface using the visible aiming beam. The surgeon activates the foot pedal. Energy passes through the fiber to the stone. The laser beam hits the stone, causing the stone to weaken, fracture, and fragment. The majority of laser energy is superficially absorbed and mainly by water. With each laser pulse, the stone weakens. Continuous irrigation is provided to wash away debris as stones are fragmented. This has been an overview of how the Holmium works and its main safety features. <laughs>